In this video, I'm gonna show you how to paint vehicles, even if you don't have an airbrush. Vehicles for tabletop or gaming are awesome. You've probably seen a bunch of them in the gaming tables on your FLGS. Tanks, flyers, dreads, whatever they are, vehicles have a great visual impact. But they're also very difficult to paint. Have a look at this one here. It's a plague burst crawler proxy that I painted for my Death Guard army. You can clearly see the brush strokes and you can definitely tell that the wash step has kind of gone wrong on this one. But what should I do? I don't have an airbrush so it's hard to paint wide flat surfaces, right? Well, yes, but if you take some precautions and adapt your techniques, you can actually do it. For example, this one here looks way better, doesn't it? And what about the subject of this video here? Even better. So let's quickly see how I do it. For vehicles, instead of normal round brushes for miniatures, I use a big filbert brush. You can get them at the dollar shop for cheap. And to adapt to the new tool that I'm using, I also change the way I apply the paint. I try to almost dry brush the surface. Well, technically I have paint on the brush, so I guess this is over brushing real. But the point is rapid fire some quick swiping movements over short distances to get as few brush strokes as possible. And by the way, if you don't know, this guy is Johnny Alpha on a skimmer from the expansion Seek and Destroy. You can see the gap filling process in my previous video here. If you're interested in the NMM copper look that I'm after here, this is a Vallejo Motor color chocolate brown base coat but this works for all color schemes. Let's have a look at the skimmer after it's dry. You see how smooth the coverage is? No brush strokes at all, cool. When the base coat is done, you can start adding your next paints. In this case, I'm going for a copper NMM look, so I use Secret Weapon Miniatures All Rust. This is a semi-transparent paint, so I want to use it as a filter by doing a uniform coat, but pay attention here. I'm starting to sketch the values in the mini. I'm giving the edges repeated coats because as you saw in the intro picture, washes have a tendency to screw up the flat surfaces, so you just want to embed shades and highlights on the mini by using paints. This means that you can keep accentuating those areas to make the piece look like you have washed it. In my case I'm using Sacred Weapon Miniatures Engine Rust mixed with chocolate brown. Usually doesn't hit your eyes a lot, but copper reflection contains a lot of pink hues, so I'm just catching them on the mini using this paint. You can see the values catching after this dry. Reflections and shades are in place, so it's time to put the final highlight. But before doing that, we just want to darken the recesses as much as possible. Vehicles have panels and line everywhere, so get a brown wash, dilute it a little bit, and fill all the crevices. Don't forget that you can also use the wash as a shade and paint it on. Just be sure that the glaze is thin enough and then you don't wash with it. Last color in my copper NMM is model color orange brown. This is another of those Vallejo colors that can be thinned down so much that they turn into a thin filter. And just look at the miracle when I start painting that filter on top of my value sketch base. Instant copper. This is such a light glaze that it's almost impossible to have any brush stroke. But you know, be careful. And this is how you can technically paint a great looking vehicle without using any airbrush. I mean, it's a good result, don't you think? Do you also want to check out how I painted the rest? Keep watching. 
just a quick and lazy steel NMM on the skimmer fittings by using my favorite grays that are German gray and light gray. You've seen me doing this many times, but in the case you haven't, go check how I paint NMM weapons here. The scheme is really simple, so I will speed it up for you. Just three simple steps. One, base coat with German gray. Just cover all the pieces in German gray with a uniform coverage. Two, make an intermediate gray, mixing light gray and German gray, and pick up the race parts. Number three, move up to pure light gray and keep highlighting those parts. There's actually a bonus step here. You can add some white in the gray and add the final highlight. It's that easy, right? Well, let's say the rest of the min is just a collection of simple techniques to paint the dust cloud, the patches and the headlight. I'm sure you're not interested, but I have the footage, so if you want to see them, you can ask and I may add them in a new video here on the channel. So skipping all this to check the finished vehicle, do you see? I told you it was crazy easy, even without an airbrush. It's just a matter of a couple easy techniques and no classical wash. I hope you liked this quick tutorial and hope to see you all the next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click the bell if you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.